Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, and this one I just wanted to show you a quick way to kind of animate sort of like a distributed tree growth, um, growth of a forest. Um, you can do this with grass too. Um, but it's just kind of an easy way to use one of the effectors um, to uh, make things grow. Um, obviously you could, you could do the same thing just inside of the cloner by transforming the size, but um, this adds a little bit more kind of distributed size growth without having to do much. So um, yeah, let me just show you how I how I did this. So um, first things first, I will just, I'm gonna get rid of everything except for this landscape and my physical sky. So I just created a landscape right here, scaled it way up. Um, you know, I'll scale it up even larger. Nothing that interesting about my landscape. Just kind of have this noisy material on top of it. Um, and then I brought in, I created a low poly tree. Um, so this is just a platonic on top of a cylinder, basically with the same material. Let me get rid of, uh, um, so, um, one thing I want to do for the gro growth straight away is just go to my axis center, since it is um, editable, and execute that so that my my Y is at the very bottom. So that way, you know, quick check if I wanted to just scale this whole thing down, we're good to go. Um, so then. Holding down Alt, let's go ahead and grab a cloner. And immediately it always wants to go into linear, but we're gonna go object, and then we're gonna drag in the landscape. And then we just need to transform this so that we don't have the trees all lying on the ground on their sides. So we'll go minus 90. And you know, they'll have a little bit of lean based on where they're kind of sitting on the... I think you can get rid of that. Um, turn off a line clone. Oh, yeah, could have just started with my object and turn off a line clone if you if you want to have it just so that it's they're all straight up and down and then let's up the count to quite a bit more um, so we've got a nice let's go like 250 cool so you know you could as I said before you could adjust the size um, you know evenly and you know, change your X, Y, and Z to make these all, you know, I could go to zero, I could zero these out, and then I could go to like 180 and make them all one. Let's say. So we've got this slow growth, right? So that's cool. And then if I wanted to have anything, you know, sort of random to it. I could add a random effector or I could go to my uh, to my dope sheet. Um, no, not even. Um, yeah, I would have to just grab like a random effector and uh, that would be how we, I would control growth. So that, that's certainly one way you can do it. I'm not gonna show you that way. I'm gonna show you just another way I kind of like. Um, so let me get back to where we were as far as like having no keyframes for my scaling. Cool. So the thing we can do is just use a MoGraph uh, push apart. And we're gonna wanna create a box field, which we're gonna have to make substantially larger and centered and taller 
basically we're gonna to want to cover you know the entirety of this forest to make sure that it's you know really we probably want to just go into our top view actually and uh, make sure it's like centered right right at the top of our box what does that mean for you well um, under push apart under effector it defaults to push apart so if I push this value way up I can just kind of make a crazy swarm here and I can bring these all back down to my original place where I'm at like 100 centimeters and we could watch this kind of crazy animation maybe this is like a swarm of bugs or something flying in but it doesn't really work for trees but the other mode we can go into is our scale apart and this is where it's kind of nice because now it will randomly sort of scale up and pick different different trees to grow larger and do it sort of individually for you. Um, and then you can also go into your F curve and just, you know, I'll do like an, an ease out. And we can really, you know, adjust that value. So it's kind of like easing into that final growth path. So, you know, I kind of like this. Um, this is another way to do it. There's, you know, it's Cinema 4D, guys. There's five ways to do everything, usually. But um, it's all about really efficiency. You know, it's kind of like with coding. We want to make sure that we're using um, the procedural workflow that has the fewest amount of steps. You're not having to go in here and individually do a whole lot of things. Um, so that's why we use effectors, because they um, produce workload and take care of a lot of the animating for you. This is just one way to show you how you can quickly do a little bit of vegetation growth um, with only a couple steps. So hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.